Well, good morning, my big truck and B family. How y'all doing today? And boy, is it early in the morning. Yesterday, I drove through um, my first, not my first ever, don't get me wrong, I've been through many snowstorms, but it was my first little snowstorm in good old California, which was quite interesting considering I have, I, and it's how I come to California, it's either, you know, it's, it's nice here during the winter and it's nice during the summer, it's got decent weather. Shitty traffic, shitty politics, shitty fuel prices and everything else, but decent weather. But I was going through Tehachapi yesterday and and Tehachapi is known, uh, it's like a smaller version of Grapevine. Um, it's got, oh my hair's a mess, sorry. It's got, uh, uh, you know, it's got its downgrades and upgrades and all that. And, and driving through Tehachapi, you know, with it only being a four lane road, two lanes on each side, it's insane because there's a lot of impatient people. And the thing about that is that it's dangerous because you, you get these guys who, especially if they're California drivers, no offense to you, you know, if you've never driven in snow, you really got to watch out what you're doing because you end up trying to act like a super trucker and hauling ass down a 6% downgrade when it's snowing and there's ice and all that. It can cause some problems. Now, luckily, I don't think there was a wreck going uh, uh, westbound. However, I... Uh, I think there was going eastbound because traffic was just backed up. I ended up having to pull over. Um, I was trying to get home to Arizona. I only had about five hours left. I knew it wasn't going to make it, but I still wanted to get out of Bakersfield and Tehachapi. I still wanted to get out of the mountain area, you know. And it, uh, I ran out of time because traffic was just, just horrible, you know. So I ended up getting stuck here, and it just made me think of, all these people that try to try to rush the clock, you know, it's, 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 it's a shame, but whatever, you know, it's currently, let's see, it's about 1:42 in the morning. My 10 hours should be up shortly. I'm hoping, um, yeah, about 15 minutes from now. Uh, and then I'll be heading back to Arizona and hopefully, uh, to spend my weekend off and enjoying my weekend. But yeah, you know, when you're, when you're on the road guys, and I know a lot of you've heard people talk about this and stories and whatnot, um, be safe about it, you know, because you, it's not just your life in somebody's hands. It's, it's other people's lives. You know, this, the way I was taught at my old, uh, trucking school or not trucking school, old trucking job, uh, they showed the steering wheel and they said in between each line of the steering wheel is families. You know, you're holding people's families in line and, and it's a good, it's a good visualization, you know, because you don't know if, if you're going to skid out of control and end up, uh, you know, killing somebody. You don't know if you're going to end up, uh, rear ending, you know, someone's family and, or your own, it, it, it can happen. And it's a really dangerous thing when you get these guys who think, that just because they're not sliding right now, they can just haul ass past us. Now, the California speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Um, granted, I have been known, you know, to break that rule, and I know a lot of drivers who do who go about 60, maybe 63 tops. And 65, you're kind of pushing it. You know, cops will definitely pull you over for that. But I've, I've had cops pass me going about 60, you know. But in the snow, you should be driving relatively slow. Um, who cares about people that you're holding up? They should have left 15 minutes earlier. That's the way I see it. If I feel like I'm holding anybody up, I just say to myself, you know, they should have left 15 minutes earlier, whatever. <clears throat> I would rather, I would rather those people or myself get home safely than haul ass, cause an accident, and then, and then nobody go home at all. It's just one of those things that you really have to understand, uh, Safety is a main priority, especially in truck driving. But this storm, uh, it was a quick one, and it was only through Tehachapi, but uh, I think there were some road closures. I'm not for sure. 
but it did cause a big, it, it caused traffic to stop, uh, go, going back out of it, so that kind of sucked, um, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to put this little PSA out there, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, it is currently, oh, 1.45, still waiting on my 10 hours to be up, and then I'm gonna head on out, but right now I'm gonna get some coffee, and I'm gonna just, uh, I'm going to try my best doing these videos, you know, whether they're shorter, longer, whatever, but I'm going to try to just, just, I'm going to try to upload every day again and try to, you know, even if it's not even really an interesting video, even, even if it's only a video like this where I'm just talking, you know, about safety, whatever, um, because I have a feeling, you know, that's kind of what you guys want and if I don't have any views on it, whatever, at least I know someday you know, if my channel gets big, I'll have some views on it, but all it takes is that one video to get thousands of views and thousands of likes and thousands of comments, and I'm going to keep on uploading videos until I find, make that one video, but with that being said, you all have a wonderful morning, and keep the shiny side down, I think that's what they say, right, just, just, you know, just drive normal, all right, there we go, <laughs> I don't even know anymore, guys, I'm sorry, um, keep the rubber side down. That that that's that's the way I know it of. But with that being said, guys, you have a wonderful morning. I'm out of here.